I mean, I never really paid attention to that. I mean, I just, I mean, come for my red shirt year, that freshman year, I, I struggled a lot. I mean, just adjusting to college and everything, watching everybody else, all my teammates that came in with me, they was actually playing and me being a red shirt, it was kind of frustrating. And I mean, I had some doubts about even being here in the first place, I can I can honestly admit that. But what happened is I had a serious conversation with my mentor and my high school head coach uh, about you know what I was going through and stuff like that. And he just kind of reminded me why I came here in the first place. and. And stuff like that, and it kind of like triggered some stuff off in my head. And then I had this conversation with uh, with Bradley Roby back when uh, I was a redshirt freshman, and he kind of triggered some stuff off in my head. And I just realized if you really want something, you got to work for it. They not just gonna give it to you. So that's when I just developed this this work ethic, or that I was gonna work so hard in all season in the weight room and in the film room and all that. And honestly, it has paid off. And that was the things that I did in high school too. Like I was, I would like stay out to practice, do extra drills. I was always lifting and whatnot. And I felt like if they, if it would help me be successful in high school, why would you go away from something that helped you get to where you want to be? So I just went back to that that model that I had. So it's crazy. You kind of went from being. Yeah, you know, thinking about like you know, then, you know, people like you know, people get here and they they say, oh, I arrived. You know, they I'm just happy with being here. I mean, I kind of fell with that a little bit, but then like I wanted more. I never like settled for just being here. I wanted to be more. I wanted to be known and wanted to make plays and stuff like that. So that that hunger just came back in me and it just allowed me to go out. It's kind of crazy trip. that you almost thought about leaving and then yeah. you started the next year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can you describe the open letters that you wrote to fans? You know, oh, that, that was something. That? that was something that uh, I had got into with Grant. Um, he had contacted me through Twitter and he asked me that I wanted like talk to the fans. And I'm like, sure, I would love to talk to the fans. I mean, I love talking to all my fans. So that was just a way of me like getting to know, well, the fans getting to know me basically and the things that I was going to try to do when I got here. Tyvis, if there was any danger of you guys looking past Illinois to Michigan State, was that kind of ended when Illinois beat Minnesota on Saturday? I, we should never, we ain't looking past nobody because see that's how you get beat when you try to look past the opponent. You just you take. But it'd be easy take, to not take them seriously until they beat a team. No, 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 no. You you take every game seriously because when you don't, when you think you just gonna go in there and just slap somebody, that's when you <laughs> in a fight. So you can't look past no team. So I've I've, I've never looked past Illinois at all. Even a young all. player couldn't do that. No, I wouldn't even allow that to happen. Like nobody's mindset should even be thinking about Michigan State at this time. We got Illinois up right. Right now, and Illinois just beat Minnesota, so they they are definitely a good team. Tyvis, there are times when a win can feel like a loss. When you go through what you guys went through in Penn State, where you you lose a lead, um, you come back and, and win a game that's in a difficult environment. Can it make you guys a little bit of a stronger team, a little bit more galvanized? Oh yeah, definitely. That type of win would definitely bring any team together. I mean, just going out in a hostile environment like that, it was definitely a crazy environment. But we knew that going in because, I mean, I've been there before, so I actually got to witness it before. But just know, just knowing that it's just your teammates, all you have with you is your teammates, so you have to fight for each other. And I think that that environment would definitely brought us together. I think we would be a much more stronger team because kinda, we was able to survive that. Was it kind of good to go through something like that? Because you guys had pretty smooth sailing for a month there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, because it, it, it kind of like, you know, you don't, you don't be, I wouldn't say you wouldn't be complacent to where you're at. People might get complacent and expect that, I guess, like people expect that the offense is going to go out there and score 50 points like they was doing and the defense could just, you know, do what they do. But now when the offense was struggling, we knew that we had to come through for the offense to get the ball, get them the ball as many times as possible, which we were trying to do. Hey, Tyvis, do you ever think about last year's pick at Michigan and like kind of how you might have like one of the signature plays in this program system. I mean, does ever like you know? I never, I, I never really thought about it that much. I mean, I just, I just thought it was just something that would help help my my uh, seniors get their last pair of gold pants. That's really what I, my main focus was that game to get the gold pants. Yeah, I didn't know if, it, if you ever reflected on just the I, magnitude of what that no, play I, probably meant. I mean, for... sometimes, but I ain't never really took it that far to <laughs> one of the biggest plays. I wouldn't say all that. I mean, there's been a lot of good plays here. <laughs> Where are your weird... gold pants? Hmm? Where are your gold pants now? I gave them to my mother. Oh, well, I got kind of a weird question. Um, did you ever get nervous, like, talking to us at first? No, no. Because you know, I kind of feel cause, like... Because, you know, because for some odd reason, it's just like I can just be myself, you know? I'm just... This is just who I am, you know? I have no... I'm not nervous about anything. Kind of going back to that Michigan game, that pick, 
I don't know if you saw the Florida State Notre Dame game, but the Notre Dame ran that rub play and, and it got called there. Mm. Did when Urban called the timeout mm -hmm. before that? Did he tell you guys that that play might be coming? That, that <coughs> Pick rub play. No, 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 no. Who who called that play for me to make that play was Coach Combs, because we had watched it in film and I I had totally forgot about it to be honest with you. But then he came and said, yeah, they're coming out in that formation when they when they uh, motion over. That's the formation that we watch. That's the extra point play that we watch. And I said, oh yeah, and we ran it in practice a bunch of times. I'm like, yeah, that sure is it. And boom, went out there competitive actions, made the play. It was like a pick play though, right? That they were gonna run. Yeah, kind of something like that. I, I don't really remember. <laughs> But something like that. <laughs> All I know is we won. Go Bucks. <laughs> Speaking of Coach Ash, I'm sure he's brought a lot of different things. If you had to put it in a nutshell, what's what's he brought to the, the Ohio State defense? Oh, more, he's more aggressive, more aggression out there. You know, people are playing tighter covers, like I said. Uh, people are making plays on the ball. You know, you see the DBs making plays. Last year we was like the worst unit. Now we're coming out and being, making plays and becoming one of the best units. So I would definitely say that's the ultimate change that our pass defense has really improved. Tackling seems better too. Is oh, that absolutely. Somebody told us that we was, we was like one of the teams with the least missed tackles or something like that. So yeah, that we definitely drilled that a lot. We got a drill on Tuesday that he calls the Tyvus Powell drill where we tackle. I don't know why he calls it that, but he calls it the Tyvus Powell drill. You haven't put that. You really don't know why he calls it that. Oh, you really don't know why he calls it that. No, he called it that because at first I dreaded it, but now okay. I love it. I embrace <laughs> it. You gotta embrace the things that suck. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, what you relationship like with Coach Fickle? I know, I know now he's a defensive coordinator, but he was the head coach when you committed here. Do you have a special bond with him or an extra respect or any sort of different relationship with him knowing that that was the situation when you decided to come here? I mean, I definitely look at him like that. I mean, I still, like, he's still like a highly, uh, highly coached to me in my eyes because he's definitely the one that I committed to. So, yeah, I definitely look at him like higher than I do some other coaches, I would say. You said Ohio State was your dream. When did you start to actualize or you know, start building towards that dream? Oh, man, that was in my junior year of high school. At first, at first I thought it wasn't going to be a reality, but then me and my high school head coach came came up with this plan. I told him that I wanted to come here, and he said, Tyrus, you have the talent to get there. I can show you the way. He showed me some things. He showed me the work ethic that I, he created, the work ethic inside of me that I didn't know that I even had, and that ultimately helped me get here. What's his name? Sean Williams. And would you have walked on here if you were Oh, there? absolutely I would have. That was that was my next choice. If, if I didn't get an offer here, I was going to walk on. Ohio State or nothing? Oh, yeah. That's what, you that's wouldn't have gone and was. taken a scholarship elsewhere? Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> it was OSU or nothing. Thomas, how much did the Michigan play change your life? It didn't. <laughs> I don't, if people say it did, but you know, like I still feel like I'm the same. I don't, like, I don't get treated no differently or nothing. Okay. Just reporters ask you about it a lot. Yeah, you know. But you know, like Ari was asking earlier. I mean, 20 years from now, they could be.